ready? I'm ready. I am excited and I feel calm. I keep waiting for the nerves to kick in, but they don't, so I feel good. It was meant to be. When I was 16, really kind of realized something was wrong. I just wasn't getting my period by the time I was 17. We found out that I did not have a uterus. I remember the doctors telling me that I would never be able to have kids. I have a friend who has the same condition. She reached out to me and said, hey, I think this might be a great opportunity for you. So I saw it and I thought, they're only allowing 10 people. I'll never be accepted. At the time I was single, I needed a really a really big support system and between my sister and my best friend and my mom, that was the three people that would come take care of me. Her mom lived in Nevada, I lived in Utah, and there was a couple of times I drove out <laughs> to take her on a date, <laughs> and I think that's when we first really started dating. I always wanted to have kids. For my mom, that was her dream. She came out to Cleveland with me. She was diagnosed with ovarian cancer shortly after the study started five years ago. The first call didn't work out, and the second one did, and it just felt like it was the right timing. Eight days after my surgery was when she passed away. In a lot of ways, it feels like this is part of her legacy now too. Oh. We snuck our wedding right in the middle of all of our <laughs> IVF. Yeah. The day we decided to test, uh, there was a faint line. One, two, three. <gasps> It says yes. It says yes! It was so exciting to see the first pictures. It was magical to see the heartbeat. I could see them making incisions <laughs> and then out falls Grace's hand. They <laughs> pull her the rest of the way out. And then we hear her cry, and then when it started raining in the delivery room really bad because everybody's eyes were all watery. <laughs> when they brought her back, and I got to have her on my chest to kiss her and touch her face and love on her and just have her calm right down and snuggle into my chest. It's incredible to me, a mom, and get to look at her and dream for her and hope that she gets whatever she wants in this incredible life. I think this one was a, a culmination of a lot of work and a lot of time. It was miraculous. I've waited my whole life to meet Grace. 